it's a plywood desk it's um, Baltic plywood Baltic birch plywood it's BB grade I've got 24 mil at the top then I've got one two three 18 mils with a 24 mil in the middle so effectively one two three four five layers of ply um, now the base the underneath is a solid piece one two three layers in the middle are 50 mil wide they're just framed around and then you've got the solid 24 mil for the top temporarily I've just well all these one two three four layers are glued but then I've just screwed up to attach the top piece whilst I um, plane it level it all off sand it and then uh, like a rebate or a bevel around the top I haven't decided yet what, what type of what type of profile to to finish the top and the bottom with but when I get round to that I'll, I'll uh, produce that that rebate along there and then remove the lid once I've removed the lid the top layer the 24 mil layer I'll be able to access the draw mechanisms and what I've got here is one of the runners for uh, for the drawers it's a push to open and then it's a soft close so a decent runner there's going to be three drawers one there one there one here and the one here has got a bit of a, a dog leg here for the front so that they're the classed as secret drawers so I'll just have there'll just be a line running down here a line running down here and then I'll be able to just push that draw front opens um, but as I said before it's going to open with a slight dog leg here so here for making the draw. I'll go to assemble it all now and then I'll show you what it looks like. So these mitre glass I've got here, before you use them, it's always a good idea to just scrape away the excess glue from the previous user or the previous use. So the previous user was me on this occasion. Scrape the bottom as well. Otherwise if you don't get all these if you don't clean all these, when you come to put your corner in there, it's not going to end up at exactly 90 degrees because there'll be a build up here. So it'll be lifting up there, that lift up, you end up with 88 degrees. Also, if this base plate isn't isn't cleaned either, you end up with a pile of PVA or whatever here. Um, you can you can when you put the wood in there, it's going to end up with a bit of a slant there. With a that bit exaggerated there, but it's going to be a millimetre or so of PVA underneath. So just double check that that's nice and clean. I always use the chisel just to give it a good scrape to get down to the metal and it's good to go. When I, um, when I did the drawings for these draw sides, I made sure that the holes, there was a pilot hole already uh, ready for me to attach the, the draw rail easily so that it's in line there's not much there's not much tolerance underneath in between the two layers of the desk the top and the bottom layer of the desk so it's got to be accurate so I thought I'll, I'll add these measurements onto the 2d design file before lazy putting that way when the drawers assembled, I think all I have to do is just one, two, three screws in each runner before attaching it to the inside of the desk. So this is the drawer dry assembled. And as you can see, that's where the dog lug is to 
just resemble or contour the existing dog leg in the design of the desk. So it's all ready now. We we'll just need to just do a bit of sanding, sand, sand away any of the, the uh, excess fern that the laser cutter has made from the edges of the cuts. So just get my sander in there now before it's all assembled. Otherwise, I won't be able to get into the corners with my orbiter sander. Before assembling, also what I what I did beforehand was I used the belt sander to get rid of all the burn and just ensure this there's two layers here of six mil so uh, I had to make sure that they were exactly level as um, there were there's probably half a millimeter difference between the two layers so I put them on the belt sander and then put a slight chamfer on either on either edge so they just need they just need me up now with a bit more of a gentle orbital sander and that'll get rid of some of the burn so another thing I did was I labelled all the all the components for the drawers. So this is uh, right front or C front centre. So it's all ready now to, to start sanding. I'll just go and sand it now, sand away some of the burn, and then I'll um, get the mitre clamps ready. PPE for when using the, the optical sander, you want to ideally uh, face mask and goggles, safety glasses or a dust mask, um, anything just to, to cover your nose and your mouth and your eyes really. It's always a good idea just to get your know, watches off and just give it a bit of a scrape inside, inside of the fingers on its there just to make sure there's no glue. In this corner because if there is it's going to hinder the flush the flush fit when you come to add the other side okay a really nice tight bit you don't want you don't want to have any gaps underneath here so in order to get rid of those gaps eliminate any unwanted gaps you've got to just get the sharp part of the chisel obviously scrape the inside so i'm just finishing off doing these little ones now right in here Should really be using a, a woodworking vice for this. Um, please make sure that you use a woodworking vice. Do as I say, not as I do on this occasion. Using these mitre clamps, make sure you've got four, one for each corner. On this occasion, I've got this dog leg here, so I'm going to leave the dog leg to the last. I'll uh, allow these three corners to, to set first. So, before I start blurring, I've got two mitre clamps here. And the rest of the front, the front piece of the drawer, so it's got the same height, equal height, with the, with the leaning forward to have an uneven angle at the end here. Before I tighten this one up, I'm just going to look and see this part of the shoulder here is sticking past the corner at least. At least half a millimetre. Um, half a millimetre is quite Just about half a millimetre like that. I'm just trying to zoom the camera in. You can see that. The shoulder here is sticking in there. Okay. And the reason I've done that is so that when I place the side the side panel on here, I can make sure it will ensure then that this panel the tightness part. all lined up. I want to make sure before I glue it now, I want to make sure that the draw rail is going to line up with these holes. If not, it means it's on the So, always good to double check. Check 
points. So these are sort of screw holes here. And these are the screw holes here. See them? Screw hole, screw hole. One, two, one, two. So the glue I'm going to use, the PVA, is Gorilla glue. It's a Gorilla wood glue. Um, internal, external use, water resistant. It's a D3 grade, and it's got a handy little spout. It's like a spray. It's like a little applicator spout, which I found quite useful actually. So what we do with this is put the glue in there. Make sure you get it on the sides and on the bottom there. So make sure it goes on the sides and just turn the panel. Make sure the glue is spreading all around it. And then I'm going to put some on here. Make sure to make sure that there isn't any gaps just there. Make sure it's in line. Make sure it's get your tri square. I'm gonna sit the tri square here in a second. Just to make sure that, that is square, make sure the front's square, and then I'll go ahead and do the back piece. Okay, so here's the tri square. Tell me that's level. And then if I check here. It's telling me that's level also. Okay, so here's the evidence that the glue does run down. The glue will end up sticking to this mitre clamp and then the next time I use this, I'm gonna to have to scrape the clamp again. So you do have to watch that. It will happen every time. I'll probably just wipe it in a second. Um, so I'm gonna I'm going to press pause in a second and, and do the, the back add the back panel. So I'll set the mitre clamp up. Let's see if the back panel slides in. Yep, slides in perfectly. I don't need to set this up any more than what it is because I'm not going to be gluing this corner just yet. I'm just gonna glue this corner glue that one, I'm going to let them set and I'll come back and do the other sides so I've, got, I've got more space then to do this dog leg it's going to be a, probably a, a bit of an issue doing this dog leg here because the components are too small I'm not going to get the use of fusing on the mitre so I'd like to see what we can do when we get to that stage 